Okay. So here we got, you need two pieces. They're about 31 inches. Okay. For both rockers. Okay. And you need it. You need two pieces that are 31 by about eight and a half, eight and three quarters, nine inches. Okay. Two pieces for the rockers. Okay. Okay. And then you need, you need another piece here that's about 11 inches, right? 11 inches by about 17. And you need two of those pieces, okay? <clears throat> All right. Two, two of those pieces, 11 by... 18 okay all right then you need two pieces that are 37 and a half okay inches long by 11 inches and and the the I, I bought like a 20 foot board okay and it was 11 inches wide okay and I went and bought back bought another one so and you need two pieces for that and then in here you need the, the total of 36 inches okay by 18 inches that's if you, you have an 18 by 36 inch mattress. So I have two pieces of wood here um, to, to make an 18, this 18 inches wide and 36 inches long. All right. So I think that's about all I got. So um, if you have an 18 by 36 inch mattress, well, that changes the dimensions of the top. If you find a smaller mattress, well, you have to make a smaller um, cr cradle here. So that's the problem. Uh, that's the problem with this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and send these home with the lady that is getting this, my wife's cousin, uh, to put blocks up underneath there. They can paint it or do something. And then I put the little baby's name on there. Um, and these handles, I cut into them. And um, I kind of smoothed them out. This is all d done spur of the moment. But we have this mattress coming. So um, some of these mattresses are tough. So with this rocker, um, you have these stops on here. With these rockers, you have these stops on here. And you just cut them in, and then you have a, a smooth transition. Now, this, this round part here, the rocker part is a lot easier to cut with a belt sander and you can do both of those okay on on a or, or not a belt sander on a bandsaw it's a lot better to cut on a bandsaw i did mine on a jigsaw and you know and that's not a really precise tool so i put i basically put everything together with dowel rods okay and i had a preset um drill bit that uh, allowed me to drill it inwards just deep enough. Okay, the whole thing's put together. Now, I have a support board that's on, that's the width of this crib that goes across to brace the, the box here, the floor of the box. Um, is it necessary? No. But I did use screws to put that in. Um, so you need two 11 by 36 11 by 18, 11 by 18, and then, so this whole thing's 20 inches, and then this is um, 31 inches wide um, with stops. Uh, this thing roll. I mean, I mean, look how it rocks good. So, like, you can just sit there and, you know, put your foot on it if you're sitting down. All right, clean up center. Um, that. So, it's nice and flat. 
we got we got another line here that we're going to go ahead and follow, and uh, we're just going to see how how that, how that goes. Um, but so this, this line kind of I, I just kind of rehammered it, kind of did it a little better than this one because this one kind of went out kind of wonkus. This one's a little smoother, so that's good. All right, there's probably a better way to do this. I just don't know how. All right, thank you. So with this handle, I've got like an inch of pipe there, and then I make an inch of pipe over here and over here. Um, but this is going to kind of go down at an angle. I'm going to turn what I'm going to do. This is about four inches, so your hand probably fits in there. Um, and we're going to go on the outside instead of on the inside. It's going to be easier. I'm going to go ahead and drill a couple holes for wood screws. So when I uh, put them in, it won't split the wood. Um, so these are so to compensate for the quarter inch or three quarters of an inch. Uh, the mattress is 36 inches. And so I did this a little bit over 37 and a half. All right, so there you go. All right, let's go. <laughs> yeah, 37 and a half. What we're going to do is drill a couple little holes, little pilot holes right here, and right here, and then here, and then drill them in. To the uh, sides of the before I put all these clamps on, like this rocks perfect right now. I mean, even with the clamps on, but I, I gotta finish. Up. Down chain, one bond here. So I've got this area here. Oh, um, kind of messed up on some of those. I don't know why this one to flush might just be a crooked board. But I think another belt sander, same kind of messed up there. But it'll be turned up on the board, skin board here, go across there. But yeah, so this is it. Alright, so I got one over here and here. Let's move this out. Alright, let's see what I do here. Uh, oh, sorry. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a line. I put it on there and I, I leveled the line. And so I can see the, the, the gap going from here, 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 here. It's not the same. Just as, as check, it looks like it's similar. Now, you know, everything has to be leveled. Now there's another line. You can see how you have a lot more meat over right over here in conjunction with that line. It kind of tells you where you need to take it off of. Here it is. So this is a really finished job that I want. But it's rustic. It looks nice. So but overall, it looks good. And, you know, you just don't have time for that. I just try to make it smooth and not really bite your hand. So that's what I try to do. So now I'm the letters on it. All right, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment below. Send this video out. Thanks.